it's about damn time. Scarlett Johansson finally gets her own Black Widow movie, but was it worth the wait? I'm Scott Movie Mance, and here's my review. We have to go back to where it all started. Where did you think I was all this time? We have unfinished business. 11 years after making her first appearance in Iron Man 2, after which she also starred in Captain America's 2 and 3 and all four Avengers movies, Scarlett Johansson finally takes front and center in her own Black Widow movie. And to say that it's long overdue would be a massive understatement. And why it took so long to get this is really anyone's guess. That wait was actually extended by more than a year Black Widow was supposed to kick off the summer movie season in May of 2020, but of course it got pushed back because of the global pandemic. So inconvenient. So now it is finally opening in theaters on July 9th, and it is also dropping the same day on Disney Plus for an added premium. So back to the question, was it worth the wait? And well, I hate to say it, but the answer is no. Okay, wait, wait, let me clarify here. I thought it was fine, it's solid, it's watchable, it's entertaining, but doesn't Black Widow deserve more than just a backhand compliment of it was good enough? The problem is it's underwhelming. The action scenes deliver the goods on some levels, but it's the story that's weak, and it just didn't hit me as a necessary and important enough story that it just had to be told. It's also not what I was expecting, which was a Black Widow origin story. Now, we see a little bit about her childhood through some short flashbacks, but this story primarily takes place after the events of Captain America's Civil War when the Avengers have splintered off. So think of it as a side story featuring Natasha Romanoff and her dynamic with her very dysfunctional family. Now, that includes little sister Yelena, played by Florence Pugh, a recent Oscar nominee for Little Women, and her quote-unquote parents, played by Rachel Weisz and David Harbour. Their mission to take down the Red Room, a covert Russian organization that turns young women into deadly assassins. But as directed by Kate Shortland, Black Widow feels too formulaic and conventional compared to the more stylized and superior installments of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Movies like Iron Man, Captain America, Winter Soldier, Doctor Strange, and even Ant-Man. Black Widow works well enough when it's in motion with the action scenes, but the story just didn't do it for me, and I felt like it deserved better. But it has its moments, the biggest of which is Florence Pugh. It's actually really good casting because Scarlett and Florence actually look like they could be sisters in real life. And it looks like we are going to see a lot more of Pugh in the MCU, though not necessarily on the big screen. I'll just leave it at that. Look, it did feel good to see an MCU movie back on the big screen for the first time in two years since I think Spider-Man Far From Home. I think that was the last one. But overall, I just thought Black Widow was just okay. It didn't rock my world, but it was solid and entertaining enough. I just wish it was better. I feel like Scarlett Johansson and the character deserve so much better. Maybe it would have been great if it came out 10 years ago, but for right now, it's good enough. And of course, the big screen is the way to go. You got to see these movies on the big screen. So there's my review. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like this video. Please share this video. And please subscribe to my YouTube page. And until the next review, here's looking at you, kid.